Let's see how to create a seamless repeating background pattern in Elementor and CSS, but with a brick layout. Each other row will be shifted to half of the tile size so that the tiles are filling the space in between them. We will start by using a container or a section in Elementor and we will give it a full viewport height. So in minimum height, we will set this to viewport height and type 100. If you go to style and use a background type and set the image that you want, you can then go here and set this to repeat and also set the display size to custom and adjust the width of our tiles. Now the problem with this native Elementor background feature is that the rows are directly under each other, so we cannot really create the brick pattern. In order to do that, we will remove this image and apply it directly in CSS. Go to the Advanced tab, and if you are using Elementor Pro, you will have this custom CSS field. If you are not using the Pro version, I will show you how to do this with the free one. Here we will start by typing Selector, and then we will apply two background images. First of all, I will type background image and set the first URL and the source to my image. This will be used as a tile for my pattern. Then before closing this line before the semicolon, we will use another URL to another background image. I will type comma and then I will just basically copy and paste the same URL. This will create another background image where the first background image will be used for odd rows and the second one will be used for even rows. Now we can set the background size and let's put something like 100 pixels by 100 pixels. The next thing we want to do is set the background repeat to repeat. It is already set to repeat but we want to make sure that this setting is on. The last thing that will actually create the brick effect is the background position property. And here we will define two sets of values. The first two numbers will refer to the odd rows and we will leave it at zero. So I will type zero space zero. Then I will type comma and define the second set of values. And the second set will mean the background position of the second set of rows or these even rows. In my case, the background size is 100 pixels, which means uh, that the shift will be half of that. So it means 50 pixels horizontally and 50 pixels vertically. And this is how we create the background pattern. Now, if you are not using the pro version, you can achieve the same effect with the free Elementor version. For this, let's delete this code right here. And I will apply a class to my container. So I will go to layout and set this to be something like pattern dash bg for background. Now I will remember this class and I will go to my simple custom JavaScript and CSS plugin. That's the one that I'm using to use custom CSS code on my Elementor websites. And I will type here dot pattern dash bg. And I will use the same code that we used with Elementor Pro version. Just instead of selector, I'm typing the class name here called out with a dot. So I will just go ahead and copy the same code, paste it here, and click on update. After this, uh, let's publish our page and preview it. And there you go, you can see that we created the same pattern uh, using Elementor free version. Basically what we did is using two background images and just shifting the second set of rows or the even rows using background position property. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.